I see a number of patients that um, are going to need whole brain radiation for multiple brain metastases in the brain. And one of the questions that's come up recently is, is there anything out there that we can do to reduce the cognitive impairment that's associated with whole brain radiation? Well, just a, a little while, short while ago, we learned some really interesting but preliminary results on using a medicine called lamantinine. It's actually a medicine that's often used in Alzheimer's disease, but it was done in a study where patients who were receiving whole brain radiation either got this medication or didn't get this medication. And the results of the study suggest that there may be a benefit in terms of preventing the onset of cognitive impairment if you get this medicine. Now this is one of the very first studies, and it's a relatively small study. It probably needs to be duplicated with a larger number of patients. It probably needs to be uh, done in more stringent fashion to really see and tease out whether this works. I'll tell you that from a radiation oncology community, there's a fair bit of excitement about this because we want to do anything we can to potentially reduce this particular complication. Because in the patients that beat this disease and survive for a long period of time, we want to keep their mental status as high as possible. In my clinic, when I see patients that bring this up, we often try to get this medication. One of the challenges that we've encountered is that insurance companies are not authorizing uh, this for payment in this particular indication. And the medication, if you are buying it on your own, is awfully expensive. So we have not had as much success as we'd like or the clinical experience in seeing patients truly benefit from this. It'd be nice to see more studies, more data, and then convince the payers that this actually works and that this should be moving into the standard of care. But I don't think today that it's something that we routinely offer to all of our patients because of these impediments.